So I'm in the kitchen with Chef Christopher from Christopher's and Crush Lounge. You just celebrated your third anniversary. Yes. Happy anniversary. Third year at the other end of the mall when we were 10 years at the other okay. side. Okay. Any, any reason to have an anniversary <laughs> party, right? Absolutely. All right. So we are making a sweet treat for you today, an orange angel food cake. And right now we are working on the sauce, which mm -hmm. is a Chambourg. Sham no. No? No. Gramigny? That's what you were drinking in your margaritas. Oh, we were talking about margaritas <laughs> with Chambourg. Okay. Um, Gramigny. Gramigny. Okay. Yep. So what do we do? Tell me. So it's I'll help. very, very simple. Let's go ahead and put the butter in. Okay. And you can have fun with this uh, dessert as well if you want to. You can flame it at the table. Oh. And, you know. But So we're going to melt the butter and then you add the sugar. Okay. Just throw it all in. Okay. Let me turn that up. And now? And nope, strawberries. Okay, strawberries. But we're going to kind of get it all melted together, but for time's sake, we'll just okay. throw it in. And are we just sort of like sauteing it or just getting it? Well, the butter, butter will melt the sugar and it'll kind of slightly caramelize, oh. but not too much, and it'll cook the strawberries. And then at the last moment, we'll add um, the Grand Marnier. So should we let this sort of do its thing here for a few minutes? Yeah, just for a second. Okay. And we can go over here and start. Uh, we've done this before. It's on the website. Uh, just a simple... Uh, vanilla sauce for making ice cream because we could also add ice cream to top Perfect. the cake. Perfect. Now, once this is done, can we freeze it for a little while? The ice cream? No. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the sauce to go over it, just so if you're going to. Uh, you could. You can hold I know it for you a like to make days. everything fresh. Right. But, but you could hold this for a couple of days, no problem. Just seal it up. Because okay. of the butter in it and sugar, it's going to solidify a little bit. Okay. And you're kind of, so it's uh, not solid. best to freeze it. No. You okay. Can. Okay. So here, uh, put the egg yolks in. And then the sugar. Egg yolks. And this is like a simple vanilla sauce. From this, you make flan, you make creme brulee, uh, any kind of flavor of ice cream. Okay. Now, back to exercising again. Okay. Give me 10 more. Now, yeah. we. You see how bright yellow that is? Yeah. So, you want to you keep doing that till it gets kind of a pale yellow. And just by stirring it up, it'll do that? Yeah, oh, because by, of mixing yeah, with the yeah, sugar. Or beating it a little faster. Okay. You'd be expensive by the hour. <laughs> I know I would. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. So once it gets a little pale, you've creamed the Don't sugar. Don't forget to stir that over there. Oh, like it's, it's fine. I won't. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm yeah, just trying to help. Good. Okay. Um, okay, that's it. That's <laughs> this is painful for you to watch, isn't it? <laughs> now, the other thing, we got some vanilla beans. You can use vanilla extract always if you're making vanilla sauce or something. I like to add the extract at the end because it doesn't burn off. And here I have cream. I don't want to interrupt your exercise. I thought you said I was done, no? no, no. Yeah. <laughs> so that flavor, I mean, just two of those vanilla beans, that's all you uh, need? We could use a half, actually. That's quite a bit. Because um, they're, very, they're very expensive and like always... Which is why I use a teaspoon of vanilla. And But if you use these, like I always say, never throw them away. Rinse them off. Mm -hmm. And then put them in a, a sugar, seal them in a jar, put it in a Gramigny bottle. Oh, Gramigny yeah. for flavoring pastries and desserts. So... They are expensive. Now, yes. the sugar's kind of caramelized. The strawberries are cooking. Would you, does this look done to you or, yeah. or a little bit more? Look, if you, could, you could caramelize it a little bit if you want. We can still see some sugar there that hasn't dissolved. Okay. But you really can't mess this up. Once it comes to a simmer, it's, it's fine. Because you have it on a low heat. Uh, I have it as high as it'll go. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> just because it's our, it's our stove. <laughs> that's why. But at home, would you have it on a low heat or a high heat? Medium, medium heat's fine. But now at home, if you have a, a gas stove, mm -hmm. be careful about pouring the gramigny in because it'll, uh, poof. it'll flame up. So now we're just going to cook that a little bit. And we have to reduce this down by half? Uh -huh. or? And you burn out a little of the alcohol. Now, oh, that smells At this point, yummy. we could add a, take a lighter or something, light it, and you could have a nice little flame if you wanted. And so just till it gets kind of syrupy. Uh huh, it's definitely good. And then yeah. you can grab one of those spoons and taste it. It should oh, be okay. pretty good right now. I will definitely grab a spoon. And... Don't burn yourself. Oh my goodness. Is that good? That's really good. Now we could, we could add some uh, raspberries in there, strawberries. Mm. We could do absolutely anything. So now Yummy. our sauce is completely done. Okay. So we're going to save that for when we put over the cake. Now, we just let this come to a simmer. Mm -hmm. This is our a mixture of milk and cream, half and half. And when the milk's hot, you pour a little in like that just to temper the egg yolks. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you put it all in, sometimes you can get scrambled eggs. Oh, yeah, and that would be bad. Not good. That and would then, be angel food cake gone wrong. <laughs> or vanilla ice cream gone wrong. Vanilla ice cream gone wrong. And now you, now you can dump it all in here. 
Even with the, the vanilla bean uh -huh. thing in there? Yeah. Okay. Because we want to get all that flavor out of there. And this is something I always do. I always just go stir it up, give another little rinse, make sure I get everything out of there. And. Uh, Okay, so now when we come back, we put it all together and we eat it? Well, this gets cooked and then it goes in your ice cream machine or however you want it, whatever kind of machine you have. Okay. And it makes vanilla ice cream. And then we'll unmold this, we'll do the presentation, show you how to serve it. Perfect. We'll put it all together when we come back in just a few minutes and uh, we'll talk about some fun events that you have coming up. Yes.